Hello, people of YouTube. My name is Steve Gray, and thank you for watching. Today, we are talking about The Promised Neverland, Season 2, Episode 3. And while there are some bittersweet moments in here, there are also <laughs> some uh, very concerning ones. Uh, so, Sonju and Mujika, uh, they are kind of gone. You know, I, I don't know if we'll ever see them again. Um, it's, a, it's a possibility that we will see them again, uh, but who knows? We, we, uh, we really don't know what will happen in the foreseeable future, but they tell the kids farewell. They give uh, Emma an amulet, and they send them on their way to the wastelands, which are the coordinates where William Minvera told them to go. Uh, and then as they are leaving, we learn that Sonju, uh, he said the gospel, so because of religious reasons, he's not going to eat them, uh, said that they can hunt wild human. Or maybe it's one of those situations where it doesn't specifically say anything about wild humans, but it does say st something specifically about, uh, you know, cattle bred humans or field bred humans. And he wants them to breed, and then he wants to hunt and kill and eat their children. And he, we know he is at least a thousand years old. Uh, Mujika, we don't really know her exact age, but I'm guessing roughly around the same uh, time period. Um, apparent, it, we also learned that demons are in all different shapes and sizes. Uh, apparently they mutated more in the last 1,000 years. So I'm guessing uh, Sonju and Mujika are kind of more your typical looking demons, uh, whereas the ones that were hunting uh, all of the kids were not your typical looking demons. They were kind of, you know, maybe morphed or, 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 or bred a certain way, perhaps. I could see that happening too. But uh, it's kind of scary because Sonju is, he's going to be a problem at some point down the road. It's, it's going to be a long time down the road. I don't know if we're ever actually going to see it in, these, in this series unless they make a continuation off of this series, and I could definitely see them doing that, because I know the manga isn't massively long. Uh, we probably got a few more seasons left, uh, but I think this is going to be like one of those Attack on Titan type scenarios uh, where we get like uh, maybe four or five seasons. Although Attack on Titan is like 24, 25 episodes a season, so th maybe this will be like a six season run, possibly six to eight season run. Uh, because we're getting 13 episodes a season, even though technically we're only getting 11 uh, this season, which kind of sucks. But you work with what you got, I guess, and you move on. Um, my guess is because we know there are tracking devices, uh, my guess is that Mujika, the amulet that she gave Emma, is actually a tracking device uh, in order to figure out where they are hunt them down, and return them to where they were, or obviously end up eating them. Uh, she even said to Sonju that um, returning, you know, basically turning them in would set them up for six months. So whatever their type of currency is, food, water, etc., all of those things, would allow them to live peacefully for six months. Even though I don't understand that part of it, maybe they're not always living in the woods, because, you know, the hunt fish gathering all their food and waters in the woods, but I'm guessing there is more to it than we know uh, that we'll probably see in a future episode where it's more of a demon episode. Uh, we also learned that demons are easily killed by hitting them in the eye. Um, if you are familiar with hunting, smaller game uh, is similar. You know, you, you, you aim for the eye. That way it saves the meat, it saves the pelt, you get it through one eye, go, the bullet or arrow or whatever else you're shooting the animal with goes at the other, instantly kills them, they're not going to feel any pain, uh, and then you have their pelt for fur or clothing, you know, shoes, hats, whatever you want to do with the pelt, and then you also have the meat as well, perfectly preserved, uh, not getting destroyed by the shot and not getting infected by anything else because of the shot. But... 
it's interesting to see because I have a feeling that uh, they're going to come back. I, I have a feeling like 100% that is some sort of tracking thing, even though she said it was going to, um, you know, send them through. Um, this is the first time that Mujika has actually met humans. Uh, however, I don't think this is the first time Sonju has met humans because they do get to the William and Vera coordinates. They find like a hidden bunker. Um, and it's, it is just beautiful. You know, you got food there, you got hot water, you got electricity, um, stoves, you know, everything that's basically in a house, uh, you can have there. They have seeds and they have like a, a garden area so they can easily grow food. There's a well, so they're never really going to run out of water. Um, and they're going to easily be able to live there for a long time. However, at the end of the episode, which got really kind of frightening, uh, we saw two aspects. One is a payphone, and they it was William Minvera, or theoretically it was William Venera, uh, calling them to give them more information. Uh, and the second is help is like all scraped into the wall. Like, someone, like, wrote help multiple times, scraped into a wall. And that leads me to believe that some demons know where that hideout is. They know where that bunker is. They found escapees at one point, and they killed them. So, I don't think this is going to be a place that they can stay forever. Obviously, they want to go back and save the rest of their family, too. But I don't think... This is a place that they're going to be able to stay forever because I think they already know where it is. I think uh, Sonju possibly might already know where this is. Maybe, you know, he clearly wants to eat humans. You know, he has the capability. So maybe he, you know, gave in to his inner desires at one point, found it, killed a bunch of people and ate them. I really don't know how that whole situation <laughs> plays out, but that is very concerning. Um, what this, the place is really nice though. There's a piano with a secret entrance that goes to a secret door, which led to the payphone uh, that one of the kids found. Um, you know, you, you got Gilda and Don kind of letting their guard down a little bit more. Everybody's generally letting their guard down because they feel safe for once. Uh, we did find a radio. Uh, they also found the frequency that, uh, mother used to use, um, in order to check in every night at eight o'clock. And there wasn't much, you know, it, it was basically like, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. But that may give them information about other houses, other fields uh, in their current field. So that way they know exactly what's going on and can plan out exactly when they are going to go back in order to save the rest of the, of the uh, kids that are in the field. So that is going to be good too, because now we have some, some communication uh, with the outside world. And it's, it was, it's like a bittersweet episode <laughs> with terrible, frightening undertones. Uh, what I think is going to happen next episode is they are going to use the radio to figure out uh, what is going on more at the house. They are going to devise a plan to go back to the house to save the rest of the kids that are there. Uh, the biggest problem is going to be babies. Uh, babies are, you know, they're, they're useless. They, are, they, they can't fend for themselves, they can't walk, they can't do anything, and that is going to be the biggest hurdle, is getting babies. So my guess is they are going to probably, when they get all the information out of the pen they need to write it down, they are going to bring it back with the books so that way somebody else can find it in the future as well. Because eventually... You know, it, can't, it, 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 it may be, become an endless cycle of them going to save people because they're just going to keep putting new kids there over and over and over and over again to eat them. And I'm sure when they go back to save their family, there's going to be a lot more babies there uh, that were sent in to replace all of the kids that got lost. Uh, the good news is, though, the people that were hunting them, the demons, they're all dead. <laughs> Sonju killed them. So Sonju definitely loves the hunt and... Uh, He's kind, he kind of reminds me of the most dangerous game. If any of you are familiar with that story where they were hunting humans, that was the most dangerous game. And uh, the, these are the, to him, these are the smartest people there are. And that means their kids are going to be the smartest kids there are. So they're going to be a challenge to him to hunt, find, kill, and, and eat. So that, that, that's why I think Sonju is allowing them to live. Um... Mujika even said, is this just out of curiosity? And it basically is out of curiosity. He wants to see how well they survive, and he wants to end up hunting and killing 
their kids. Uh, so it's kind of like free-range cattle, uh, if, if you will, is the best way to describe that. But we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, overall, I think we're going to give this an 8 out of 10. I feel like I'm giving a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff 8 out of 10 this week so far. I'm actually filming this the same day that I am filming Dr. Stone because I didn't realize last week that they came out on the same day, which is kind of nice. So, uh, But this is going to end up being uploaded tomorrow, Friday the 22nd. And then you're going to get Dr. Stone, uh, I guess, yesterday. Technically, I know. Future tripping. Woo! But a uh, great episode overall. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And let, if you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. Turn on that notification bell. Leave a like, comment down below what you would like me to do for future anime and cartoon reviews. My name is Steve Gray. Thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.